Day 363. Today the big news is coming from the south. Here, after a series of losses, the Russians realized that their forces were exhausted. So they organized a huge reinforcement of fresh troops and tanks, and even started relocating Wagner forces from Bakhmut to Vohledar. However, it looks like the Ukrainians have finally received longer range missiles, and immediately took an opportunity to make sure that they never get to the front. Last time I told you that the Ukrainians conducted a massively successful counterattack and pushed the Russians all the way to Makilsky, essentially annihilating 100% of their progress over the last month. I also told you that the Russians tried to return back at least the residential area immediately, but their assault units were completely demolished. Many analysts expected that the Russians would take a few days to bomb this region, accumulate forces and try to push the Ukrainians once again. However, this did not happen. Some sources reported engagements on the hills to the north, but they were insignificant. Later, it became clear that Russian forces in this region had simply been degraded to the point where conducting huge attacks was not an option. We could already observe the signs during their counterattack last time, when some units retreated the moment something did not go according to their plan. But a decisive indicator became an announcement from the Mariupol mayor that the Russians were preparing to reinforce Vuhledar with 5,000 more troops. He specified that they would be accompanied by 20 tanks T-62. Simultaneously, local people started publishing footage of buses in Mariupol, which were escorted by cars with Wagner forces insignia. After that, Ukrainian Melitopol mayor reported that 43 buses full of Wagner troops were being relocated from Donbass to Zaporizhia, and it is expected that they will substitute the degraded Marine Brigade near Vuhledar. Although 43 buses are much less than 5,000 troops, so it is possible that they would be sent with the elements of the regular Russian army. But it seems like not every one of them will get to the front. Today, a series of huge explosions were reported on the outskirts of Mariupol. The Russians have turned Mariupol into a big base, where they keep a lot of troops and supplies. But Mariupol is located 75 kilometers away from Vuhledar, which means that Heimer should have got really close to one of the most active front lines in order to make a shot. It is highly unlikely that the Ukrainians would have risked it, so at first I thought it might have been sabotage. However, the latest Russian report suggests that the Russians have finally received GLSDB rockets, which can destroy targets located up to 150 kilometers away. One Russian source said that at least one Heimer's crew has already received a package, which strongly indicates that a series of explosions on Russian bases in Mariupol were caused by these new long-range missiles. It looks like this is only the beginning. It took the Russians more than half a year to adjust to an 80km range and push their logistical centers deeper inside their territories, so with the sudden twofold extension of artillery range, Ukrainian artillery now has a lot of fresh targets. The biggest Russian problem is that they cannot afford to push their logistical centers even deeper. The Russians already have severe problems with bottlenecks and short-term deficits due to the destruction of ammunition depots, and moving them further will exacerbate the problem even more. Especially given that in many places, like in Zaporizhia and Kherson, the Ukrainians covered the whole territory. Overall, the Ukrainians have finally received longer range missiles and have successfully struck one of the main Russian bases that they built specifically to avoid HIMARS strikes. Over the next several months, we will likely see a lot of fire missions, especially in the areas of deployment of the newly mobilized soldiers. But for now, it looks like the Ukrainians are preventing the Russians from reinforcing the Vuhledar group which will allow them to retain the initiative. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the line store, UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols, to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.